Let's cross borders now and as Niger prepares for the March 20th presidential ele election rerun, the opposition's candidate Hama Amadou has said that he will boycott the polls. Amadou garnered 48% of the votes in the first round despite being in prison since November following child trafficking charges. While he maintains that he is a victim of political repression, the government denies any wrongdoing. Niger is set to hold a second round of voting on March the 20th, which will pit incumbent Mahamadou Isufu against his rival Hama Amadou, who is currently behind bars. Amadou, a former parliament speaker, was jailed in November in connection with the baby trafficking scandal, but nonetheless finished second to Isufu in the first round of polling last month. However, a recent announcement by opposition coalition Copper that it will boycott the presidential runoff, citing fraud and unfair treatment of candidates, has raised fear of increased political tensions. Isufu, who has vowed to crush Islamist militants and tackle deep poverty in his country, won 48% of the vote in the first round, more than 10% points ahead of his closest rival. Le 21 février 2016. The elections held on February 21st, the first round of presidential and legislative elections were characterized by irregularities and massive fraud on a scale we have never seen before. The opposition also accused Isufu of seeking to suppress dissident and of ordering the arrest of opposition supporters ahead of last month's vote. The government has dismissed such criticism as politically motivated. If they, the opposition, follow through with the threat of not participating in the elections, that will also mean that they will not recognize whoever wins the elections, especially the future president of Niger who will be elected on March the 20th, which is something that may lead us into a political impasse. On Monday, authorities in Niger said jailed opposition leader Amadou had been hospitalized, although it was not clear what condition he suffers from. A court is due to hear a new petition for his provisional release next Monday, a day after the runoff vote. On the streets of Niamey, some residents said they were disappointed in the opposition's decision to withdraw from the polls, saying it essentially paved the way for Isufu's victory. I don't think it's the right attitude to have because they should look at what's important for the nation and not for their personal gains. I I was disappointed to find out that the opposition has withdrawn because these politicians have participated in politics before and they know that in an election there is always a winner and a loser. It would be really disappointing if the opposition was not to participate in the elections. I was very disappointed and I want to encourage them to come out and campaign. It is sad to hand over victory to your opponent without fighting for it. Islamist militant group Boko Haram, which is based in neighboring Nigeria, has staged a series of attacks in Niger in recent months, forcing authorities to declare a state of emergency in the southeastern region of Defer. But Niger prides itself in being peaceful compared to its neighbors Nigeria, Libya and Mali. Trix Ingado, KTN News.